Well, yes, there were uh, several really surprising aspects to this study. The first and, and most basic, it, it really is striking that an animal that um, uh, has its only eye located on its back is able to see perfectly well. And the plasticity of the brain in recognizing that this new, uh, uh, you know, sort of weirdly placed patch of tissue on its back is providing visual data and is able to use that in a normal behavioral repertoire for learning and memory is, uh, is, just, is just striking. The other amazing thing about it was that the animal uh, is able to see with these eyes connected to the spinal cord, not the brain. And this suggests that, that some of these kinds of implants may be uh, needed to connect to the spinal cord, but don't necessarily require brain surgery for um, functional innervation. And of course, it was also very surprising that we were able to uh, to, to manipulate the, the reading of these cells uh, of their electrical environment. The fact that cells literally uh, respond to the electrical potential of their neighbors and, and use that information to make decisions about how much nerve is to be, uh, is to be produced out of the implant. The amount of nerve that emerges from, from these ectopic eyes when they're treated with this, uh, with this uh, drug is really quite striking.